It is January 2020 and I decided I wanted to get back into uh, doing a recap of 2019. So for me, 2019 was a, was a bit of a challenge when it came to my career in this industry. I mean, I've talked about how I've been here for a while and or been in the industry for a while, and I've only been in Toronto now for oh, close to six months. So last year, 2019, moved from Houston to Toronto, a big jump. My background really revolved around you know the corporate and commercial style of videos and projects, and moving here, what I've run into so far was a lot of the short film and film-based uh, community that Toronto has a, a large abundance of. The challenge I ran into, one of my first challenges was just trying to understand the network. And I think challenge number one would be the network. I think anyone who decides to take a leap into a new city, into even, even the jumping into this career, this is a, a platform that welcomes networking. And I think networking is the first step for anybody, really. Um, no one knew who I was, so that's important. No one knows how to reach out to me because no one knows who I am. So it goes connected right there. And of course, with no one, not no one knowing who I am, nor, nor myself knowing anyone else, I had to find ways to get out there. And instead of me waiting around and getting on the internet, which is obviously the platform that today is the new standard for reaching out and networking, I wanted to, to do the, the old style of legwork and walk out to the different networks and meet people face to face. I think today's uh, industry for networking is great when it comes to online platforms, lots of them out there. And the great thing I think for platform platforms that works for us is you can find out where you can find these people to network with, find people who you want to network with um, in the industry. And then uh, once you find out who you want to network with and where they network, go there. Um, the second part to the whole networking that I believe is very important is to actually build the relationship. And relationships to me go a long way, not just when you sit face to face and to, to really connect with them for a networking center to get the projects or to work on people's projects, but to understand that that relationship has to go further when you get into a project. I think everyone uh, should understand that when it comes to relationships, your your personality has to be able to meld with the people you're about to work with. I mean, in this industry, we work with people from, you know, a few hours to a couple of days to a week to a month and so on. And you don't want to sit there come the ninth hour or the moment that a client or your project comes to like a, a critical moment in the project and then you're debating over something as minuscule, you know, as who brought the craft food or you know who's who's allowed to touch this light or who's supposed to be running the camera i mean hopefully you know all those but just small minor things like that we shouldn't let anything bother you if something changes you shouldn't really you know overly battle it out i mean if you have small debates that always happens but as long as you can understand who you're working with and re re recalibrate your position in the debate so you guys can find an answer versus just debating for hours on end. When I was going out there, the, the other thing I also wanted to do was look for ways of connecting. So my challenges for 2019 were very hard. I had, a, had to, obviously been moving here, I didn't know anybody I said that. And one thing I, I had learned about is a union-based system. So though there are a lot of non-union uh, pieces to go through, I decided to reach out to like some of the bigger groups just go out there and just reach out to them, you know? And so there's groups like the IATSE group, the DGC, the Directors Guild of Canada, and the CSC, which is Cinematographers Society of Canada, and get some, some pointers and some, some, some answers for how it is that I can go about jumping into the community and being a part of their system so that in, in the future, I can be plucked out and utilized for any projects that they need more extra help on. I'm thankful that I have the skill sets that I have. I'm thankful that I have a lot of gear that I've been able to afford over the years. There's obviously, when the world comes to gear in our industry, there's always something new to get into. But as long as I have the pieces that can at least um, hold a really good standard uh, among many of the professionals, it really puts me in a place where I'm not trying to 
um, figure out work without any, any gear or without any money if I'm trying to get into projects where they're like, well, can you bring gear with you? And then I have to debate on how much money I have to pull in for rentals. I mean, you still need rentals for a lot of pieces that we get into, but you know, what, if you have your own gear, especially when starting out, it's a lot easier to just jump into the projects. You know, for me, the challenges were obviously working with different people, learning the industry of the film, short film kind of style was a challenge for me since, again, I come from a very corporate and commercial mindset, marketing mindset. It's a lot different than the film side. On the film side, you know, I fell into it jumping into Toronto and it's been a lot of fun, I will say, and I'm enjoying the people I've been able to work with um, in a different lights and different types of projects. And I've been in different groups from like a small group of like four of us to now I've been on a, a short film that had about 20 of us on set, which was lots of fun. I love working with teams and I've done several projects since I've been here, six months in and I've, I've pretty, pretty much done a project every month, which is awesome. I have to thank again, the people that I've worked with who have given me the opportunity to showcase my visual creative side and, and, and take the opportunity to jump in and, and help them as well. It's a wonderful collaboration amongst the whole board of people that do it. So that's been lots of fun. So a lot of challenges that I think I've done a pretty decent job jumping in. I look forward to taking, taking my learnings of the Toronto group of people and, and huge plethora of, of talent that's here and being part of it. And I look forward to 2020 and jumping in and hopefully uh, working with some of you guys, you know, anybody who's in the GTA that needs someone that of my skill set to help you. I would love to be a part of the team. I am a gamma, very much a team player. So for, and, and I've been in the industry in a way that I enjoy just about every aspect. So honestly, I'm not one to say I only do one or the other. I enjoy having the ability to just jump in, get my hands dirty and make, you know, our overall project help out because our ultimate goal is to take the team towards one goal and create something that will definitely you know, provide to an audience that we hope will enjoy. So looking forward to more episodes. I will be hopefully doing some more project tests. I want to do more tests on these videos this year. My goal this year is to basically, you know, not to do a whole lot of, uh, of like tests of gear per se, but to actually see how well I can make certain things look. Cause I mean, that's what I want to do. And I like the community of people out there who are telling me how they feel, how they think, you know, YouTube has made to be able to do that, you guys can comment whatever you want. And I'm putting myself out there so I can hear what people think and I can kind of like take in the constructive criticism and go forward. So till my next episode, let's go on to 2020.